ट्वेल्व ईयर स्टार्टेड वेल विथ अस ट्वेंटी थ्री बट सेकेंड हाफ वॉज आई मीन यू नो द बिजनेस वॉज गोइंग डाउन आई गेस ऑल दिस जियो पोलिटिकल इवेंट्स वॉर्स आई थिंक द होल टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री वॉज स्ट्रगलिंग स्पेशली स्पिनिंग वॉज यू नो वॉज वेरी आई वुड से दे वॉज नो इन्वेस्टमेंट्स एंड आई थिंक यू नो द द कंजम्पन वॉज द मेन इशू आई मीन so overall it was okay for us i mean you know we could manage uh, our top line slightly less than budgeted but uh, you know i mean that is mainly because of the the orders which was you know uh, last year pending orders that we executed first half so with that we could manage it you know so it was overall was i would say not bad but could be could have been better well i mean we are start i mean you know last couple of years Uh, we have added mainly in the processing and uh, uh, printing actually. So we are uh, have a now cooperation with a company called the MAS Mass, you know, in a digital printing. So this is, I mean, you know, the um, this uh, it's, it's not a startup basically. It's a uh, the professional who was in this field with long experience. They started this. So this is one uh, new addition which we have, and then we also. uh i think in 2022 we added a rotary printing ichinos you know from the japan so that business was you know growing up you know the, so basically printing uh, we are now concentrating you know i mean in a processing as far as knitting is concerned we are with mayer so long so mayer uh, last year i mean you know uh, digitization was the main focus also the recycling business was growing you know especially oe yarn and uh, knitting also so that was i think last couple of years uh, that business is growing yeah i think you know the growth basically government has recognized you know the textile as a core industry which has a huge growth opportunity and with you know our local uh, consumption you know i mean uh, and uh, geopolitical issues that china is slowing down basically textile so opportunity was always there but now i think just because government has recognized and you know they are putting efforts to improve the infrastructure and uh, you know there are a whole lot of effort i mean industry also uh, is uh, i think motivated basically so i think all these factors uh, which was not i mean it was contributing but not at uh, the pace what it was expected i think that has now Uh, probably steam uh, the growth you know so i am very bullish about the growth of indian textile industry i mean it is i was just checking the numbers it was they were showing that okay 300 billion would be the by 3030 according to me that is quite uh, possible you know i mean and uh, if government uh, continues to support the industry i think you know the textile is uh, the big houses even small medium sized industry is investing and uh, there will be a tremendous growth opportunities yeah, I, second thing i believe that you know india traditionally was a cotton industry so that uh, transition from cotton based to the synthetic is also happening we see investment uh, i mean yarn capacity uh, was already i think built up but now i think uh, you know the value addition uh, in the uh, that uh, synthetic uh, fiber good is taking place so i guess uh, that you know that was the big uh, potential area which india was not contributing more so that is we see that transition has happened and uh, that mind block is actually you know that especially like a tirupur people used to think if they run uh, polyester it's 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 not good for the machine and it's not a very uh, profitable but i think that's happening now so all uh, i mean especially the apparel sector that will grow i mean i think home textile was there was growing but uh, i think overall whole textile industry apart from spinning also will grow further now well i mean you see we recognize this and we already uh, let us say aligning our products you know i mean it was there but there are specific products which is uh, basically for mmf like for example de oiling machines or for example in knitting uh, the machines are already prepared to run the synthetic yarn you know uh, which is wear proof and all these things so what we are doing is basically we are identifying the bottlenecks or you know technological barriers uh, in like for example dyeing uh, uh, raw material and all these things so that we uh, focusing basically to give pro, uh, provide solutions uh, to the industry you know that what they are looking for you know
so that is already happening i i see that is uh, i mean customers are also keen uh, so i guess uh, that sector of course you know i mean india is uh, has to develop a uh, lot of technology especially in the processing so that anyway i i guess uh, uh, with all these efforts and you know the market opportunities uh, it will automatically grow now you know well i mean you know the service support uh, let us say that is the core requirement uh, that was always there so we focus uh, bringing the new technology and uh, you know i mean uh, value to our customers that's always the principal values for batli boy but i see now anyway automation digitization is uh, taking place so the cost reduction sustainability all these things are uh, now uh, just not a word you know i mean so customers are actually implementing so i think that is the change otherwise anyway i mean textile uh, growth is recognized even by the our corporate we are a multi uh, product or multi listing company so batli boy as a uh, corporate company we also i mean board recognize that textile is quite growth area so we are adding uh, new products new services and the last few years we have i think added uh, mainly in a processing business so this is basically what we we look forward to uh, you know i mean contribute to growth of uh, indian textile industry yeah well i mean last year was very disaster i would say 2023 so but now everybody is quite uh, optimistic about 2024 i think especially second half uh, the industry is expecting that you know the bottom was very long so probably second half of the uh, 2024 uh, is uh, you know expected to grow yesterday i was listening to some interview i think nitin spinners so he he was saying that uh, they are quite confident you know and then early indication is there that pipeline is empty so textile has to anyway <laughs> to further grow so we are very optimistic about 2024 and beyond i mean 2030 uh, i am personally very i would say optimistic that uh, what government is you know uh, targeted that 300 billion we should achieve that